Hey, welcome back. I'm excited about diving into part two of Ragas and Rhythms. We're gonna focus on illuminating the beautiful concept of Raga, the melodic essence of Indian classical music. Through the application of the classical music system of India, we'll develop our ears, awareness, and sensitivity to this amazing music. We'll nurture specific skills that prepare us for a Raga jazz experience. Now, when I say Raga jazz, I do not mean that we're incorporating the stylized language of jazz, but rather the open and creative spirit that jazz music has carried forward over the past century. Regardless, if you're a jazz musician, surely many of these ideas can be incorporated into work that reflects a variety of jazz styles. All of this will bring us closer to our goal of bringing these beautiful ragas and rhythms into our own musical vocabulary and improvisations. Okay, let's recap and expand upon the three key practice skills that we learned in video one. Skill number one, the first key skill is deep focused listening. Through the listening, we're developing a seasoned ear for Indian music. This will set our foundation in place. Make sure you hear as much raga music as you can and intentionally listen for the specific things we're addressing. Skill number two, we talked about the importance of singing everything. This skill gets us internalizing the language of Indian music. The slow internalization of the material is where you want to focus, whether you're singing or reciting rhythms. The ability to reproduce and memorize this material vocally is proof of our understanding and skill development. Skill number three, once we diligently apply these lessons, this work puts you in a position to integrate the concepts and melodics of a raga into your own playing and singing. The path of mastery comes by learning to sing on our instrument from the inside, while we play with an integrated awareness of the rhythm. Before we can truly integrate this material, we need to have a clear understanding and practical application of certain core elements of the music. This leads us to our lessons for today. Now, we're going to get into some deeper concepts which are integral to this music. If it starts to feel a little bit overwhelming, please be patient. A fuller understanding of these ideas will be realized as you diligently practice and listen. So just go slow and trust the process. Okay, we know that raga is the melodic essence of Indian music. But there's a lot of confusion about this. So what is raga? Some musicians oversimplify and some overcomplicate it. For instance, to say a raga is just a scale is very misleading. A scale is just like a skeleton to the personality of the raga, which carries many more attributes. Now, traditionally, a raga is expressed through a multi-movement form. These movements could be thought of as a suite of compositions within an overall performance. In this grand structure, we utilize different modes of improvisation as we develop the themes of the raga. Structural elements of ragas remain constant throughout the improvisation and the repertoire performed. The elements are like a map of the raga. This is what we're going to talk about next the very things that give each and every raga their unique character and individual personality. I like to think of this subject as the science of the raga. Okay, now here are three elements that break down the nuts and bolts of the North Indian raga system. The first element is Arohi Avarohi. These scales go up one way and come down another. They really outline the backbone of the raga more than just a plain scale or a set of notes. For example, many ragas ascend with five notes and descend with seven. Here is the Arohi Avarohi for the evening raga we're studying called Dhyaman. Alma is going to accompany our singing on the sarangi. Sunny, 
The second element is Vadi and Samavadi. These are the king and queen notes, which rule the raga. Practically, these are the most emphasized notes. Listen how in Yaman Raga, the major seventh, Ni, and the major third, Ga, are emphasized in these simple raga phrases. Ni dha ni Finally, our last element is chalan. I like to describe chalan as the phraseology of the raga. It provides the broader map of the melodic movements and the central motifs or themes. For instance, in ragyaman, After one learns the science, a true artist must learn to breathe life into the raga. Prana is breath, and it's analogous to the creative spirit, or soul, in jazz music. When the artist transcends the rules and technique into expressive musicality. The performance of a raga is a form of modal improvisation, but with a highly organized melodic vision. In the West, we have functional harmony, in the sense that the chords themselves provide harmonic movement, tension, and release. But Indian music is completely free of modulation or even basic chord changes. Harmony is just a combination of multiple pitches. The harmony that exists in Indian music is the resonance between the voice or lead instrument and the tanpura drone. It is here that we discover the harmonic elements in Indian music. It is harmony, but without the same complexity of Western music. The same principle of harmony is at play, but the function and expression is different. My sense is that this primordial form of harmony is at the center of all musical phenomena. This simple concept we may call dronal harmony, and we certainly do experience it in Indian music. Remember from video one, shatja or sa is our mother note, our root pitch. Sa. Sa and Pa are constantly emanating from the Tanpura drone. And this gives us a simple harmonic space. Once Sa is fixed on the best pitch for your instrument or voice, the other notes take their identity by their interval to Sa. Striving to hear, identify, and feel deeply the sound of each interval is key to dronal harmony. Now, unfolding the phrases of the raga will come much easier. 
the important thing is to hear each note and each phrase very clearly and reproduce them with your voice and then your instrument along with the beautiful drone. So let's take some new melodic patterns to learn from a short traditional raga etude. These etudes are also called sargams because they utilize the Indian solfege system. You can follow along with the notation below. We're in the key of C, Lydian. Wow, okay, now you know a little part of one of the most popular evening ragas of India. We have the sheet music available for you in various keys on the Raga Jazz Music webpage. So learn this piece and join us in the next video to learn about the fascinating rhythmic world of Dala. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.